All right, let's show you what's going on in Pacific Beach. It's dark, it's early this morning. The waves crashing down below those bigger waves that we've been seeing will subside through the day today. Those clouds, though, they're all the way up into our mountains this morning. So if you are basically right along the coast, head inland. I think Poway, you're going to be a little iffy as far as the eclipse goes. El Cajon, you might be a little safe, but anything east of that, I think you're going to be in the clear. So Alpine, Ramona, areas like that, seeing those clearing skies. So again, about 907, most of us stuck in the clouds. When the peak coverage occurs about 1023, 1022 in the morning, I think you might want to head inland just to be safe. I know I'm going to drive inland just because I want to see it and I want to see what the sky does. I've seen a solar eclipse, you know, on the video and never on TV and everything, but I would love to see what the sky absolutely does. So very excited for that. All right, 70 degrees right now downtown. Also in Kearney Mesa areas like Kearney Mesa. I think you're going to be stuck in the clouds. So you might want to go inland for the eclipse. If you want to just see the tail end of it, I think most of us are going to be seeing clear skies by then. So high pressure building over the west. It's going to be warm, but cooler than normal for this time of the year, at least for the first half of the week. By the end of the week, it's going to get much warmer and we're going to be talking about the return of that monsoon moisture. Again, along the coast, about 15, 20 miles inland. You might want to go a little bit farther inland, like Ramona, Julian, of course, will be crystal clear just to be safe if you want to make sure that you're going to see it. Temperatures stay in the 70s through the week along the coast, turning to the 80s this weekend. Our inland neighborhoods a little bit more humid by Wednesday and Thursday. That monsoon flow is going to be right on our fringe, so it's not going to be super sticky, but a little bit more humid and much hotter by the weekend talking about the 90s for our valleys. The mountains also getting pretty hot by the weekend and hot getting hotter in the deserts. Kalina Be the best for less. Man, Megan, the clouds really pick the right time oh. to get out of the way. Here. I was yeah. so happy. I mean, you guys saw me as soon as that. I was like, oh my gosh, guys, the skies are clearing. We're going <laughs> to see it. So it was so cool. If you didn't get a chance to see it, this is exactly what it looked like. One of our 10 News Weather Watchers, Randy, posting this picture on our 10 News Weather Watchers Facebook page. If you want to post your pictures on there, we would love to see them. But yeah, we got about 60% coverage here and 100% clear skies right now. Look at that looking beautiful. Could not be more thrilled that the clouds decided to clear on out for our eclipse viewing. Even though we didn't get to see the whole thing, it was still really neat. I was sharing the glasses with everybody around and everybody was just geeking out. It was everybody loves science for, you know, just that little period. I love it. Right now, let's show you what's going on in Poway where it's 80 degrees. We got a couple kids going back to school there later this week and today Encinitas went back to school. Your hour by hour forecast takes you to 76 degrees this afternoon as you're heading home. Beautiful sunny skies and those marine layer clouds will be rolling back in overnight tonight into tomorrow morning and the marine layer is going to become shallower each day this week so patchy fog could be an issue in the morning but warm and sunny in the afternoons. That will also be the trend but that monsoon moisture is going to be knocking on our doorstep going to be right on the fringe of our county Wednesday into the weekend. So we're going to kind of see a little bit more humid weather come and go. It doesn't look like it's going to be too bad though, but we'll track any changes. What we are going to notice is warmer temperatures by the weekend. Eighties along the coast inland neighborhoods, low to mid eighties through the work week, which is well below average. We should be closer to 89 degrees. We're there and into the nineties this weekend. The mountains also getting hotter this weekend and our deserts well above 100 all week long. You guys best for less. We have to wait four years for Big Ben to chime again. Seven years for the next total eclipse. I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool though yeah. to see, even though we didn't get the full one here. My parents took this through a telescope, wow. which I thought this was a pretty unique way to look through it. And uh, we have a lot of 10 News Weather Watchers tweeting and posting their pictures on our Facebook page. This one from Rich Cruz, loving how yellow the sun is. That does look like the banana from the Chiquita Banana commercials. If you saw them today, they were hilarious. And check out this one. One of our 10 News Weather Watchers headed up to Oregon, and I think it was well worth it. This is the shot that, uh, that they took. So why was this one so unique? Well, it was the first one to go coast to coast over the entire U.S. in 99 years. Typically, we get one every 18 months or so, but it's usually over the ocean or somewhere very far away that a lot of people don't live. The next annular solar eclipse, so the moon's going to be a little bit smaller, so it won't block out the entire sun. 2023, October of 2023. That one's actually going through Oregon again, which just doesn't seem fair. And uh, the next total solar eclipse is going to be in April of 2024. I know a lot of people didn't have the glasses, so you can prepare at least for that part. Definitely get the glasses for next time because it makes a world of difference. I, uh, I shared them with 
with everybody that I could around me, so it was really neat to see it. A lot of people out at Coronado right now. It is beautiful. Those clouds cleared out very nicely. We got so lucky. So glad those clouds cleared out so we could all enjoy it. We're in the 80s in Julian, Escondido, and Poway, 74 degrees downtown. And those winds, that nice sea breeze coming off the ocean about 5 to 10 miles per hour along the coastline up to 12 in Imperial Beach right now. Tracking your hour by hour drop in temperatures along the coast. We don't go too far in the mid 70s this afternoon, dipping down to the mid 60s by tomorrow morning. We're going to be staying right about that 66 degree mark for uh, not only the coast, but our inland neighborhoods as well. Now the marine layer is going to be a little bit shallower over the next several days, so fog could be an issue. Of course, tomorrow morning I'll let you know if any fog is going to impact your commute. So you can see those marine layer clouds all over Southern California cleared out for all of us. Absolutely gorgeous weather. High pressure is still sitting over the west, so it will be pretty warm, but highs are actually below average for this time of the year. That monsoon moisture that we've been lucky enough to stay away from the last week or so, it's going to move right next door, so it may be a little bit more humid a couple of days here and there over the next seven days, and then we're turning up the heat. Highs are going to go back near average as we head into the weekends. That means we're going into the 80s, actually above average along our coastline. Wednesday and Thursday look a little bit more muggy and then Sunday looking humid again as that monsoon flow again kind of approaches our area. Inland neighborhoods really nice through the work week, low to mid 80s. Clouds in the morning, clearing quickly to sunny skies, and then 90s this weekend. Even the mountains flirting with that 90 degree mark this weekend, and 103 to 109 over the next seven days in the desert. So overall, really nice work week, but it is going to get warmer over the weekend, and that humidity. It's not good. It doesn't look like it's going to be horrible. We've had some horrible yeah. humidity oh, I know. Yeah. but a little bit more muggy at times a few Got days it. this week. And All you right. see a little sun. Oh, yeah, there. every day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Megan. A 